Welcome once again to our few minutes together on the Parsha. Parsha's Vayakel begins with two interesting, seemingly unconnected laws. One being the laws of Shabbos, and the other being the building of the Mishkan. And Rashi quotes from the Mechilta that the reason it talks about the laws of Shabbos first, when it says, Sheishes yomim te'osem alocha, six days you shall do work, uvayom hashvi yi yilachem kodesh, and on the seventh day shall be for you a holy day, Shabbos Shabboson la Hashem, it'll be a day of rest to God, kol ha'osu be malocha you must, whoever does malocha on that day, is liable to the death penalty. So the Rashi quotes and he says that the reason Shabbos laws were placed before the Mishkan is to tell you that Hiktim Lahem Azharas Shabbos, he put the laws of Shabbos first, Le Tzivui Melechas HaMishkan, to the command to make the Mishkan, Lomar, to tell you She'eno Docha Es HaShabbos that the building of the Mishkan, which is the representative of the kingdom of God on earth, is not doche the Shabbos, does not push off the Shabbos. The Shabbos takes precedence. And in fact, in the seventh parak of Mesech the Shabbos, we learn that all the 39 malachos, all the 39 creative labors, which are forbidden to do on Shabbos, are learned from the labors that had to be done in the Mishkan. What the Torah seems to be telling us is, you know, if you want to build your Mishkan, you want to build your dwelling place here on earth, and you might think that your dwelling place takes precedence over everything, the Torah tells us that even the dwelling place of God on earth does not take precedence over the institution of the Shabbos. But the Shabbos is such a great institution that without it, there is no place on earth where God can dwell. You know, when the Jews first began to, Orthodox Jewish community began to feel its oats, so to speak, in the middle of the 20th century, Shabbos observance was a real issue. People needed to go to work. It was difficult to make a living. There were people who in the 20s, 30s, and 40s came here and they were told by their employers that if they didn't come in on Shabbos, they, on Saturday, they made as well, might as well not come in on Monday either. And so many people felt that there was a need not to keep the Shabbos in order to make a living. Others took the opportunity to go into business and other things in order to avoid Shabbos desecration. But the Shabbos that was kept by the few is the Shabbos that ultimately led to the strength of the Jewish community in the United States of America today. I want to share with you a personal story. And we were just discussing it this past week at the Simcha that our shul celebrated in the wedding of Shai Gavon. Shai Gavon's grandmother owned a store right across the street from my father, who had a little stand on Orchard Street. It was a stand because there was no place on the inside of his storage space in order to sell the material that he sold by the yard. And he would stand outside in the warm weather, the cold weather, and he would sell from a stand that he set up on the street. And he would keep open from Sunday morning and every day during the week and close in time for Shabbos. And he was one of the few, actually there, were only, there was only one other one on the entire street that closed for Shabbos. All the others were owned by Jews, but they did not close for Shabbos. And there was a fellow across the street directly from my father's store that sold hats and caps. And he used to, he was a, he was a Jewish man, and he used to yell at my father. He used to say, Saul, why are you closing up the store? Tomorrow is the busiest day of the week on the street. Sunday and Saturday are the two busiest days. You're giving up an opportunity to make money for your family. Look where you live in a small apartment on the east side. You don't own a car. 
Me, I live out in Long Island. I have two cars, three cars, send my children to the best universities. Why don't you keep the store open? And every Friday, my father would say, Good Shabbos, I'm going home. What I have is valuable. And he kept the Shabbos all those years and never let the Yetzirah of this person try to convince him to keep the store open. The money was not as important as the Shabbos. If my father, Zechon Levercha, passed away, we were sitting Shiva, and a letter came from this particular gentleman who still had the store on Orchard Street. And he wrote a letter to my mother, and he said, Mrs. Snow, I want to tell you that every single Friday, for years and years and years, your husband would close the store, and I'd make fun of him, and I'd laugh at him. But as the years went on, I noticed an interesting thing. I noticed that he and his children had a relationship. I noticed that the children followed in their parents' ways. Me, I gave my children everything, but they all married out of the faith. They won't even talk to me. They think I'm an ignorant hat salesman while they're big college graduates. So from all the keeping open on Shabbos that I had, I have nothing. I should have closed the store just like your husband did. And that was the letter we received, which we kept because it said so much about what the Shabbos is to build the Mishkan. We build our Mishkan by keeping the Shabbos, the preciousness. And today, now that Shabbos observance here in our community, thank God, is not an issue, what we need to do is strengthen the beauty of the Shabbos by utilizing it for the great gifts that it has, for the excellent opportunity to daven together, to learn together, to increase our Shemira Shabbos, to be close with each other. As it says, Vayakel Moshe, Moshe gathered all the Jewish people together. We all are gathered through the institution of the Shabbos. So the beautiful Shabbat Shalom that was given to us by our Kodesh Baruch Hu is that which builds the Mishkan of God on earth and helps the Jewish people also build our individual homes, which we hope will continue to be a paradigm for how the world can improve itself when it has a relationship with the Holy One. Blessed be He by the keeping of the Shabbos. A good Shabbos to all.